Don't just run to Jesus when everything is bad because that's when anyone could run to Jesus. Oh, my life sucks. Oh, my financial struggles are building up. Okay, I'll pray now. When everything is good, you guys forget about him. It just, it's kind of like this backwards, back and forth thing. And like, I used to do the same thing, but like, and I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not saying I'm this goody two-shoe Christian dude. I still struggle. I still mess up, right? I just post these videos because I have a strong passion for Jesus. I love Jesus so much. I feel like he's the only purpose on why humans exist here. Without him, there would be no creation. There would be no heaven, no earth, no nothing, no sea, no land, no sky, no moon, no stars, no universe. Because Jesus created the universe. And I feel like people undermining Jesus and saying he doesn't exist just proves humanity's stupidity, ignorance, and lack of knowledge. And lack of spiritual knowledge for that matter. Because true wisdom is the fear of God and godly wisdom. Yes, that to me is what true wisdom is. So I just encourage you guys, don't just run to Jesus when everything gets bad, everything gets hard. Because he's not some genie. He's not Santa Claus just to answer all your wishes whenever you call upon him. It doesn't necessarily work like that. It even says in Isaiah that if you call upon Jesus, he will turn away his face from you. I don't know exactly every word of that verse, but you get what I'm saying. He doesn't always answer all of your prayers. It has to be within his will and it has to be the way he wants it because his ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So just remember that. Stay humble. Stay consistent with Jesus because that's the easiest thing to not do and to not stay committed to is your consistency. Like even with YouTube, right? If you just do YouTube for three, four, five months, and you're not seeing the views, the likes, the subscribers, the kind of influence you want to put upon people within three, four, six months. It's like, dude, it doesn't always happen like that. It could take one, two, three, four, five, six, ten years to get your breakthrough. But once you do, it's worth it. I mean, same with fighting, same with finance, same with being a doctor. What does it take? Four, five, six, seven years plus to become a doctor, to become a permanent resident at a hospital. So don't give up. Don't. Just backslide. Don't just pray to Jesus when everything is going wrong. Stay consistent with him when it's going good, when it's going regular, mundane, everyday life, and when it's going bad. Praise God.